What's up, guys? This is Joe from Merch University. And um, in this uh, episode about basic learning um, uh, Adobe Illustrator, I'm going to show you how to uh, start to create a design. And so all you do is come over here and push Create New. So when you, your Adobe uh, Illustrator starts up, um, mine already has the settings, but what you'll come over here to do, you'll change this to Pixels. And then you will type in the 4500. Then you'll come down here to height, change it to 5400. Um, and then leave the orientation um, the way it is like this. And then you will push create. And after you do that, the next time you come in here, you will see that this is my t-shirt one. This is my iPhone case, which is the iPhones are the phones. <clears throat> the Galaxy and iPhones. This is 1800 by 3200. And then you'll see here, this is for my um, hoodies. Which is 4,500 by uh, 4050 pix, 40,050 pixels. So there you go. So we're just gonna select the T-shirt one for now, and then we're gonna push Create, and then it's gonna go into um, <clears throat> where we can create a design. And today I want to talk about swatches, just really quick. Swatches, really quick. And um, so when we get talking on swatches, uh, so for example, we are going to um, start with the text. So we're going to get our text, we're going to click that text box, and we're going to drag out a box. Here we go. And then, um, most of you know, you, you guys wonder what this is. It's a paragraph of just random words. And just to show you what that is, I'm going to just show you. So make this 70. And then if you can see, it's just the random words um, that Adobe Illustrator uses. So all I do is come over here, and I don't even mess with 70. I put it at 500, and that's what I take right there. And then I'll come over here and push the backspace, or the, the I'll push the backspace just so it will delete it all. If it doesn't delete it all, I will highlight it and then delete it all. And then um, what I'd like to do is come over here to this point again because it, it only made it uh, 12, so I will come back and change to 500. And then from there, I will make we'll make a design. And so um, I'm going to show you. So you can come up here and you can push, uh, you know, we'll just say Oklahoma. Oklahoma Sooners. I mean, you can't make that, of course, but this is just for a t tutorial. Then down here, you know, you can align it better and you can change the font. We'll change the font, you know, we'll go find something down here something that's kind of bold let's see here how about that I like that that's Bevan regular okay and so we got that and then uh, what we want to do um, <clears throat> is we want to change it to uh, create outline so how we do that is we come out here we go down to our selection tool we select that we go to type we select that we come down here and push create outlines and then now we can move this around wherever we would like it to go and so I'm gonna move this swatches over here as you know your swatches are over here um, you can come over here you can change it to red to yellow to green to you know anything you would like right here and sometimes when I first started I thought man that's all the colors that I get but um, and I only knew that like if you come over here to the fill box, I knew if you clicked on that, it would bring up this box. I knew that, and so I was like, oh, okay, well maybe, you know, if if I knew some colors, you can look up on your phone or an, on the, your computer, and you can look up the RGB, which is the you know it will, it'll change this you know. So if you know the RGB, you can input it down here. It's a six digit number and you can change it. Or sometimes you can come down here and you can just manually change it, you know? You can just change it to whatever you want, you know? Or you can come over here to color swatches <clears throat> and then you can just scroll down through all of these and make them, uh, you know, pick pick up, pick out the different colors that you, you want it to be. Um, and before we go any further, I always try to make a black background and so just for now I'm gonna make this to make it easy for you guys I always grab the box from the object here then I make it black and then I come up here to type 
our object and I go to arrange and I go send it back. That way I I can um, keep the colors I want. You know, mess around. Okay, and then um, what I want to do here is um, I want to show you more colors in this. So if you come down here to this bottom left of the swatches and click it, it'll take you to a swatch library. And then from there you can go through all of these. You can go through all these different colors. Oops, sorry. Uh, let's pick it here. Let's pick, uh, sorry. Let's just pick the Oklahoma. And then now we can select this and it'll change it to blue. You can change it to, um, you know, all these other colors. These colors all kind of go with whatever the swatch color is. So we change it back to blue. If we want another color to maybe highlight it or to be the outline, come over here and click the outline button. And then we'll change it to one of these yellows. And um, these colors are meant to go with that blue. Or, you know, vice versa. So you can come down here, click it. Uh, make it a little bigger, maybe 40. No, it's too big. Maybe 20. And then you can see, you know, the colors they match. You know, that kind of looks like a um, a UCLA, you know, color. So um, what you can do is come down here and find. You can find more colors. You know, you can come to gradients. If you know what gradients are, gradients are where they go from one color and they kind of fade into another color. So you can come up here to color combinations. And then over here, um, you know, once you select your, your text again, you can go through here and it'll change all these colors for you. And let me change, um, let me change this back to uh, none, where there's none, and then we'll go back to the fill color. We'll take, we took the outline off and take the fill color, and then now come over here and then select one of these. As you can see, it changes it to the gradient like that. So there's a lot of options where, um, you know, where you could change these colors. You can come back down here again and go through the gradients. I like this one called Spectrum. That's like one of my favorite ones. And it's really, it's like a bright rainbow color. And there you go. You know, it, uh, it, it makes it, it makes it look cool. You know, it has like a, a cool little vibe to it. So I, I like that actually. And so, once you have your um, design and once you have it, your color that you want, and of course, let me click on the black, the background, and take it off. Just push delete. And so now I have my design here. And so what I want to do, which, you know, you can't put Oklahoma series, of course. I'm not going to use this. This is just an example. But say now we want to send that to uh, make it a PNG file and send it to uh, our desktop or wherever we keep our file of all of our designs. What I like to do is is uh, you can come over here, of course, and you can push export right here. You can you can do that, no problem. You it's uh, it says export for screens, and you can do that. You can select that Alt Control E. You know you can do that. And wh what I usually do is like I know that it's Alt Control E, so I will always go with Alt Control E every time just because it makes it easier for me. So you push export for screens. You do that. And then it's going to bring you to this this page right here. And what you want to do is come over here to um, choose the file where you the file to the folder where you need it to be. You can put it on your desktop here. If you already have a fo uh, a folder created, you can put it in there, wherever you want it to go. I have mine in the Creative Clouds files, and they go in this one X button every time, so I know they're there. And then you want to go down here where it says what format do you want it in? And I want it in PNG, just regular PNG. That's what merch takes. And then what do I want to name it? You can name it the Oklahoma Sooners or whatever you, whatever you like. You know, example. That's my, we're just doing an example. We're not using it. And then you push exit, export. Um, you push this export artboard. And then there you go. It's done. It's done. And that'll go away. And then when you go to check wherever you put it, it'll be there. It'll be there. This design will be in um, 1X, and I just look it up by the alphabet, and uh, if, you, if I showed it to you, you'd see all my designs right there, but for now, this is it. And then that's, that's all you have to do, and then from there, you just upload it to Merch like a normal file, and that is all. I hope you guys got something out of this video. Pretty basic stuff over colors and um, 
swatches, but uh, I hope that helped you guys, and um, I will talk to you next time.